today's flight is going to take us uh, to the west and the southwest, a little further than we went yesterday. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fly uh, straight away over um, the top of Port Huon and then uh, continue away over Jeeveston and keep on tracking towards uh, Mount Picton exactly as we did um, yesterday. So the first part of the trip is going to be very similar to uh, our trip yesterday. We're climbing up to um, around about four and a half, five thousand feet on this part of the journey. We'll stay just under five thousand feet, which will give us uh, a really good view of what's going on. And um, and will still give us plenty of clearance from the mountains. The mountain over to the left is Hart's Peak, and f heading off um, down to the south from here are the Hart's Mountains, which are um, really quite delightful. Directly ahead um, is Mount Picton, and we are going to go, Mount Picton is um, actually 4,350 feet. It's quite one of the taller mountains in this general area. Although well, there's a lot of 4,000 feet mountains, to be fair. And uh, we're going to go to the uh, to the left of that, to the south of it, through that lower area of, mount, of the mountain range you can see there. And once we're, we're past Mount Picton, we'll, we'll, um, we'll take a turn to the, uh, the southwest and we'll head on down past um, Federation Peak towards our destination for today, which is Bathurst Harbour, um, which is also called Melaleuca and is a, is a lovely area of um, silt-based marsh um, in, in, within a ring of mountains which is uh, part of our national park. It's, uh, it's, it's really quite lovely down there. Um, and once you're on the ground, it's uh, absolutely flat area um, with, uh, within a ring of mountains, really most attractive. So as we approach um, Mount Picton and the, and the gap between uh, that and the next, ma next uh, mountain to the left there, you'll see that there are two big tarns just um, on the... Uh, at the foot of the mount, at the top foot of the top of the mountain there, um, which are absolutely characteristic of the uh, of the mountains around here. There are many, many, many mountains where we'll find uh, tarns. Actually, there's three I see. Only one little small one that I hadn't noticed as I, last time I, I came through here. Um, and you can see also just beyond uh, Mount Picton as it stands now, a whole range of high mountains heading off both straight ahead and to the right. Now, as we cross this. Um, this little part of the of, of the ranges here, which doesn't actually have a the range itself doesn't actually have a name. Um, we're going to scoot um, leftwards, heading more south south southwest really, towards um, a place called Cox's Bight. Cox's Bight is a uh, a bay on the south coast, and it's uh, it's where we're going to to uh, to turn to come back and uh, land at the Bathurst Harbour Harbour. Um, the Bathurst Harbour um, airstrip. So we're tracking between Federation Peak and Mount Bobs. On the left, Mount Bobs. On the right, Federation Peak. And um, once we're through this range of mountains, the uh, the mountains get a little bit lower along our track. This is the uh, pretty much the highest point, and you see there just at the bottom of. Um, a Federation Peak, another tarn, another nice, beautiful tarn. Some evidence here of the uh, the major fires that were through here last year. Um, this will all regenerate. In fact, you can see even in the uh, in the bits that are showing signs of, of being have been badly burnt, that there is greenery starting to appear. Um, many of the trees that are burnt will um, regenerate this spring and will be almost fully regenerated within a couple of years. Um, lots of the, of the seeds that have been dropped on the ground over the years will, will have been um, brought to life by the heat too. So pretty soon you won't be, be able to tell that there has been this, the, the major fire that, that uh, burnt so much of southern Tasmania um, last summer. Remarkably forgiving part of the world. So we're approaching Mount Louisa now, um, which is just before the uh, the Pay Range, the Ray Range, sorry, um, which runs off um, off to the uh, to the right there, and um, 
we're approaching the the, uh, the 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 farther range of mountains in the center of the picture at the moment is the uh, the Bathurst range and we're going to go around that so we're heading for um, for this area Cox's Bight which you can see straight ahead this this is the bay you can see immediately ahead of us and we're going to go over the top of that and then we're going to turn to the right and I don't know if you can see just at the uh, the, the top right corner of that bay there's a little lake um, and we're going to go and turn over the top of that lake and head to the right um, behind the um, Bathurst Range for Bathurst Harbour. So here we are at the uh, on the south coast of Tasmania. This, there's nothing between us and the South Pole here. Um, so if you keep on going south, you hit Antarctica. That's this is this water is as cold as it gets. Although the beaches are absolutely glorious, as you can see. Um, these are by no means the best beaches down here. There are some, there are some lovely beaches, but of course, no real access to them without a plane or a boat. So off we trot. Um, we're now down around about uh, two and a half thousand feet. We're going to going to uh, come over the top of this uh, um, this lagoon, and um, as we just as we go go through here, you can see the strip, the white uh, the white slash in the centre of the of the picture. Just behind and to the right of that is, is uh, Bathurst Harbour itself, which is a um, quite a big body of water with a, a long and tortuous way actually to the south coast. It's quite difficult to get to the to, to Bathurst Harbour from here, but you can do it. And far beyond that, just uh, to the, to our to our left beyond the beyond the airstrip is uh, is Port Davy, which is a gigantic area of uh, of, uh, of of water. So we're now coming down again. This uh, strip, much like Cabruni Island, is actually at sea level or nearly at sea level, and we'll just come down and land on runway three zero. And here we are on this uh, this flat expanse of uh, rather marshy um, silt. We're absolutely within a um, a ring of mountains. It's the most delightful place. Just come and have a cup of tea, which is exactly what I'm here to do today.